Welcome to Working and Wondering. What's going on, y'all? My name's Chris. I'm one of the hosts. And I'm Martha, and I'm the other host. And, and we're also... Venturesome Couple. There you go. We're on every social media... Social? Wow. Social media platform and on VentursomeCouple.com. Yes, we are. Words. <laughs> Man. What so, a booger. I'm going to, okay, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'm going to put it on the screen. We had Callie in here and she started driving us crazy. This is our new podcast studio. Yeah. And she knocked over books. She was panting. She was licking your leg relentlessly. Yes. <laughs> that dog was driving us bat shit crazy. She was. I mean, she's so sweet. I mean, we brought a bed in here for her to lay on, but she just. Mm -mm, she wants up in our business. Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> let's talk about what we're here to talk about. Today, we're going to talk about wondering because we have a lot of folks that are wondering about RB memberships. Yes, they are. And we can tell you some of them are wonderful deals that you can make the most of and mm -hmm. get a good value for. Other ones will shake out your checkbook, empty your bank account and steal your firstborn. But the biggest takeaway is that we're going to go over quite a few, share our experience, and you guys can pick like what's going to fit your lifestyle so much better. Yeah, some are great for you. Mm -hmm. Some are great for us, but not vice versa. That's the benefit of it, right? But we're going to talk through everything, um, everything we could find. I mean, you name it, timeshares, clubs, mm -hmm. we're going to go through it all. And uh, we'll, we're going to give you the unfiltered, no BS truth, as we always do. We're going to let you know what we've used and what we didn't. And we're also going to tell you about which one we're on the shit list with. <laughs> yes, we're we on are. the naughty list on one we're of them. We're on strike two on one of them. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to give a shout out to our daughter. Yes. So we have a beautiful 23 year old daughter that has worked. anybody ever said, My kid is butt ass ugly, but I love her? Right? Like everybody says you have a beautiful daughter, but would you say, like, I got an ugly ass kid, but she's wonderful? I think it would be one of those. Our child has a good heart. Bless her heart. Bless her heart. Okay. Anyways, I've digressed way down the hell of rabbit hole. So our beautiful daughter. I agree with that. 23, she helped create and envision this whole podcast studio for us. She for said our shit was boring. She did. She was like, yeah, Meh. we're still working on it. We got, we, I'm still playing with the lighting. I think it's a little dark. Baby mama says we're good. That's yeah. a term of endearment. Don't be man shaming me. <laughs> um, <laughs> that is a term of love right darling it is it is and i call him baby daddy because well i am the father of your daughter yes you are there you go all right can we get back to what we're talking about oh one other thing normally there's a little cute table here with some flowers and some duckies down below but we have a dog bed yeah because the dog was driving us bat shit as we mentioned in the beginning <laughs> and so we left the bed so we're going to get back to it so let's talk about wandering we're going to talk about clubs memberships and what's worthwhile i can tell you the very first one we're going to go over Harvest Host. Yes. So we have a Harvest Host membership. We paid for ours annually for years. This is what, year three? Yes, three, four. Going on four. And we are not renewing it. No. There's a reason why. Stick around. Yeah. We'll tell you. This isn't clickbait. So, and then there's a place called, another one called Boondockers Welcome, which they've partnered together. I think they, nah, got, no, they got bought. Harvest Host bought out Boondockers Welcome. Okay. They're just growing their conglomerate. So... Combined, it's $169, or it's like 70 For sorting. Sort. You can buy, like, pieces of it, basically. Yeah, you buy the bulk membership, and, like, Harvest Host, there's a la carte. Like, if you want to stay at golf courses, it's an extra $20 on your membership. Right. So, it has been good. For the last three years, it has been good. What we like about it is the uniqueness. We've mm -hmm. got to stay some very cool places. Yes. And we love... Love staying at Harvest Host, or we've had great experiences. Um, stayed at breweries, wineries, we've stayed at a horse farm, we've stayed at just dozens. We've stayed all over the US with mm -hmm. them, it's been wonderful. And you get to support local businesses, yes, which we love doing. Yep, take care of the mom and pops, and we always spend way more than we anticipate. Or I was just saying, anticipate we always spend way more than the recommended rate, which used to be 20 bucks, yes. And they've upped that. Now they're asking 30. I mean, that part doesn't sway us from staying there. But no. there are times where, like, our travel plans change dr drastically. Where oh, we God, thought yes. we are going to go one destination, but maybe Chris has a work trip or something else comes up. Or we have something that we work with one of our sponsors, affiliates, and yep. we got to go now. 
are you saying that that happened today? We literally just booked a week long stay at a local campground today and got an email from one of the people that we've been wanting to work with. And they said, Hey, can you come next week? After we just spent a, a week's worth of stay or money and we can't get a reimbursement. No. So we're going to spend partial and we're still waiting because it's a maybe. Right. We we'll know tomorrow. Yeah, but, we'll know tomorrow. But there's there's that. That's a prime example of the type of chaos that we live in because mm-hmm. we still work, we still wander, and there's a lot going on with that. But um, Harvest Host doesn't like that. Harvest Host yeah. gets really, really pissy. And I'm going to be real with you about this because we usually cancel within... 48 hours, right? We know something's going to change no less than 24, which is a requirement, right? Their policy says you must cancel with the host more than 24 hours in advance. And we always tell them why, what happened. And we're always super honest with them. Well, we got a nasty gram. We did. So apparently if you cancel your harvest host day in a certain time period in the calendar year, you get a nasty gram saying you're on strike too. Right. You're not allowed to cancel within 48 hours more than whatever number of times. And they don't even tell you that. It's not in the fine print. It's not in the lawyer document. But needless to say, we're on the crap list with them. They're not happy. They told us that if we have one more, literally one more, they're going to cancel our membership and ban us for 12 months. When's our renewal supposed to have been? Um, it's in my phone in the calendar, but I believe it's in October, November timeframe. And guess which venturesome couple will not be renewing with them. No. And there's other options in the sea. Oh, a hundred percent. We're going to cover those. So yeah, yes, we're a little personally butthurt <laughs> by yeah. them, but it has been really good. And we have stayed at a lot of places. So do take into consideration Harvest Hose Boondockers. Welcome. If you're going to do it, just go all in. Our recommendation, get the Harvest Host, get the Boondockers Welcome, pay for the golf courses, just get the 169 and do it. Also, uh, search around. Everybody's got coupon codes. We have a coupon code, and we're not saying that we're not going to renew it at this time, and we may change our mind later. Yeah, in the future, we probably will. Because of how our travel plans are right now. Mm -hmm. You know, and you know, like last um, fall, winter, our daughter had brain surgery, so we didn't travel as much. So we're like, okay. We'll it's not ahead. worth it for 170 bucks for us right now. Now, yeah. the alternative, you mentioned there's other fish in the sea. Yes. What is that? So the next one on the, oh, let's go to the one that you were talking about before. So RV Our, Overnights. Yeah. So RV Overnights is a direct competitor to Harvest Host. The rumor is the owner of RV Overnights used to work for Harvest Host Boondockers. Welcome. Mm-hmm. We can't confirm that. Just spreading a little BS here. We don't know. <laughs> But uh, we did meet the guy. He's super nice. And for what, thirty to fifty dollars? So it's normally forty nine ninety nine. Right now there is a sale for twenty nine ninety nine for annual membership, and you get free stay. So it's very similar. They have an app. You can go on the website. So they have that platform. And I think it's like fourteen hundred different locations throughout the U.S. So there's mm-hmm. quite a few campgrounds, depending on are not campgrounds, camping locations, depending on what you're looking for. Um, there's, like I said, we haven't stayed there yet. But we do have access. We will eventually. We really like Harvest Hosts and Boondockers Welcome and we'll say RV Overnights because they're all in the same group here. And it gives a different, unique way to camp instead of like Chris and I, we go to destinations. So sometimes like last summer or last spring, we went from Florida to California while we stayed Harvest Hosts and Boondock places and off the beaten path. It's kind of nice. And like every couple, every third day we would stay at an RV campground just to flush out our tanks and freshen Mm -hmm. up because we love to boondock. And sometimes we're traveling long days and we, we don't want to go into a campground creeping in at night when we could just pull into like a winery or a brewery or something. Right. This is where my cheap side comes out. If I'm going to be traveling, we'll say six to 700 miles in a day. Yes, we really do travel that, that long. Um, if we're going to do a 600, I'll say anywhere from a 450 to a 700 mile day, I don't want to pay 50 bucks, 60 bucks to go stay at a campground and be there for eight hours maximum just to turn around and leave. So this is where we, when we're doing travel, we always try to boondock. We always try to find somewhere to stay because 
we will try to find ways to one maximize our profits or not profits, but like minimize our expenses is a better yes. way to put that. And two, we want to support local mom and pop shops and see something different. So we do that by not staying in the RV parks. And a lot of times we're going to have one hot meal a day because we're packing our own lunches. We're eating our breakfast on the go in the mm -hmm. morning. So we want to sit down and have a meal. Well, if we're going to have a meal and it's going to cost us 60 bucks to have the meal, and we're going to pay 50 to 60 bucks for the RV park. You see, it starts adding up, right? You spend 100 bucks a day versus if you just pay 50 bucks for the meal and you get a cool place to stay. Correct. Okay. The next one on the list is road trippers. Now, you wrote this out on here. So you put can, Campendium. So road trippers is, an, is a competitor company to Harvest Host, Boondockers Welcome, and RV Overnights. Awesome. So they have three different memberships. I just looked it up. Uh, basic membership, $35.99 annually. Pro membership, $49.99 annually. And premium membership, $59.99 annually. And on here, you also have two, two go RV. Yep. They're all the, there's like three different sub companies under road trippers. So you got two go campendium and road trippers, and they all basically operate the same way that um the others do as far as harvest host and stuff like that you have it tells you locations where you can camp the difference is it just tells you they're there it's like hey this boondocking spot in the blm land is there we've used campendium for that yeah we have it's and we we've never paid for the pro so mm -hmm. this is relatively new yeah we don't have the basic pro or premium mm -mm. we've just used campendium yeah on the website which is nice because sometimes you can find places that aren't on uh, like we'll say harvest host. Yeah. Okay. And the next one we have on the list is KOA. So campgrounds of America. Okay. And we've had this membership for quite a few years back when we still lived in Alaska. Back when we were weekend warrior in that sucker. Mm -hmm. It's that's a cheap one. I don't remember what the cost is. Um, now I just looked at what it is right now, but back then we paid like 20, 25 bucks, but now yeah. it's 36 annually. I mean, just like everything else, inflation. Right. So 36 annually, you get 10% savings, a uh, free night once a year, you do accumulate points. And for us, we've always been able to find a site. Yeah. Every year they give you like in September, I think it is, you get a free night stay. So, I mean, if you're paying 36 bucks, you're pretty much going to get a free night. The 10% off really does help. Mm -hmm. And the points eventually accumulate. And we have been able to use them and get free nights. So um, what I've always loved about KOA, we can always get a site because they're not cheap. Yeah, and they're clean. Everyone we've stayed at has been clean. I appreciate that. Um, I think it's their standards, right? Like, yeah. I mean, it's a corporation. So it's kind of like a... Um, um, a mcdonald's right when you walk into yeah, mcdonald's like a franchise. You, yeah you know what you're getting in the koa you know what you're getting they usually have sites because they're not the least expensive by any means no but i've always enjoyed staying there when we can't find one where it's crowded there's always at least one at a koa yep and yeah because you might pay 110 dollars a night depending on where you're at the other cool thing about it that we've used personally on there is you're able to pick what site you want that's available Right. Martha likes them bougie. She's like, I want a fire pit. I want concrete. I want to have a patio. He wants the concrete, which I don't argue with because it is nice, but it's it makes it so much easier for leveling, right? Having a concrete pad, then less bugs. Yes, less, I agree with the bug part for sure. But KOA is a good program for 36 bucks. It's worth it. I mean, if you stay a five, six times in a year, you pretty much pay for itself. So it's not one that's going to break the bank. Um, I kind of go back to the harvest host thing. I'm a little, like I said, butt hurt. They're well, expensive right now for what they are. It is. And we use like RV Life, RV Trip Wizard, and we're trying to find a spot. And then it's like, okay, um, I found a KOA. We can stay there. We'll be able to stay the night, do some laundry, um, clean out our tanks, freshen right. up, and get ready to go for boondocking. Um, sometimes yep. they'll have like food there. Yeah, they usually do. They usually have some type of a restaurant, so that's and usually you, cool. And if you do pick your site, but what number you want secured, it's like an extra 10 bucks. So the next one I would like to talk about is Thousand Trails. Oh, so this one, uh, I feel like you need a lawyer to talk about it with it because there's oh so many different God. plans. Like you need a salesperson or something that understands all the verbiage, but it's between like 500 and like 12,000 yeah, plus. Yeah, it's all over the place. Um 
Now for us, we did go to the sales pitch meeting. We listened to him. We do not have thousand trails. We've opted to not get a thousand trails because it is a timeshare. So you are truly buying into it. It's not something you can just cancel. Yeah. <laughs> you own it. And you there's do. dues and there's points and it is just like a traditional timeshare. Yeah. And it's like two weeks in, two weeks out. And there's different levels and plans and uh, depending what part of the country or which area. Right. The perimeter of the country is pretty full with places. The center of the country is not so full. It's pretty va uh, va barren. That was yeah. the word. And there's like a la carte stuff you can add, different type of park pass type thing. If you want to be able to have a cabin for like family members to come stay at like certain times, um, you can only stay, you can only book out like six months to... Six months in advance maximum, depending on which plan. Some yeah. of them are way shorter than that. Yeah. But so, you do at most every three weeks, you have to move. Now, Chris and I, when we started out as venturesome couple a little over three years ago, this would have been cool for us. Uh, full, full timing yeah. and then within that next year we'd bought a home base so for us it doesn't work for us no because it would take so many years for us to justify the cost up front mm -hmm. compared to what it would be um i will say there's some there's some ways to work around that that i know some of our friends have done mm -hmm. being that it's a timeshare it can be resold or sold and then it can be repurchased by a second person so you can buy it used on the market and save quite a bit of money. Um, the other one is what I was told was through lazy days. They give you a free year membership and you can upgrade the membership like super cheap. Yeah. And we were told by the salesperson when we went to listen to the sales pitch, um, just cause we wanted to learn more about it. Yeah. Uh, they said that, you have to be careful when you are buying used because sometimes when you buy used, you may not get all the perks the original person had. And then there's like so many times it can be sold. It can right. be passed on to um, someone like a loved one yep. when you pass. I mean, there's some of them you can't resell at all. So if you yep. bought it second, you're stuck. Yeah. And you may not get all the perks as the original. So that there's so much that goes into it. So definitely do your research and talk to one of their sales reps before you do purchase. All that being said, I still think it's worth it if you mm -hmm. truly are a full-timer and you're going to travel around the country for, we'll say, more than two years. And you're a big planner. Oh, God, yes. yes. Because we have friends that have it, mm -hmm. and they love it oh, because yeah. it costs them like maybe $500 a year yeah. to camp because they're super planners. So they can tell you where they're going to be six months from now, exactly three weeks in, three weeks out, where they're going, what they're doing. And they maximize it. And they've turned full-time RV living into something that's very inexpensive. Yes. No, we, we have multiple friends that have thousand trails and they live and thrive off it and they, they love it. So, um, we get to stay on property sometimes as guests, because when you go onto their website, you can rent a, RV site as a guest. Right. Basically, if somebody has a membership, you can go to you can go to some of these places. We'll talk more about the timeshare side of it. Um, I will say one thing, even if you decide you don't want to buy Thousand Trails, there's other programs within it like Encore. And you'll understand mm -hmm. that when you go to the website, you can still stay there and save a bunch of money. Yes. So when we um, started out a little over three years ago and we're full time and we decided we wanted to purchase an annual site locally mm -hmm. in central Florida to be close to our daughter. Um, and that's, that was just more, it was more inexpensive to stay there. Oh, absolutely. Annually. Oh yeah. It was way cheaper to rent it annually. And we didn't have a thousand trails membership, mm -mm. but we and could was, stay in one spot. Yeah. And it was a lot cheaper. And then we were able to cancel it later. Yeah. Cause it's, it was just a month, a month. Well, it was an annual contract, but timing worked out good. We were able to cancel it. Um, the other thing is you can stay at a thousand trails if you want to go for a week or a month. Yeah, that's what I was saying. You can stay as a guest. Like when you when we went on earlier and we booked a place, you know, booked a site that's for not a, a week. We're renting a RV site. That's not a guest. No, on there it says guest sign in as a guest. Look at her reading all the fine print. What I want to make sure is y'all understand is you're paying, you are not a guest. Couch surfing is a guest. You get freebies. These people can call you what you want, but they're going to take your credit card. Now, there is deals. Where did you find that? Because you found one today was 50% off. So we don't have a login. So we signed in as a guest <laughs> and they're, they have special offers. You just go down to the below on their website. And we were able to find Florida resident offers for a local uh, thousand trails. And literally it was 50% off. So we paid $180 for a full week. Correct. Yes. Yep. 
that's a really good deal. So just know, even if you don't want to spend $12,000, there's money to be made there. And I'm and not just, playing on my phone. I'm looking at my notes. Yeah. It's just a little side note while he's looking at his notes, playing on his phone. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sometimes it is cheaper to stay either a week or a month versus like certain days. And then it's just like a hotel, like over the weekend, the prices go up. Yeah. So it was $46 a night if we stayed per night. And it ended up being 25 and 17 cents, something like that, to stay for a week. So it was cheaper to do a week than to do a few nights. Yes. And we're like, oh, let's just stay a week. Why Sounds not? Good to me. That's less <laughs> travel days. Woo! But I know you were talking about a guest because you were talking about our friends, right. uh, Kurt and Melody, who own a timeshare. They yes. bought into a timeshare. Um, I forget. Oh, Blue Green Properties. They don't own Blue Green, but it's some other weird thing. But anyways, they have access to Blue Green. Yeah, they have a membership there where they paid into a timeshare. And then we were guests. We were guests. That's the guest he was thinking. But when I was on the actual Thousand Trails website, it says sign as a guest or your member login. We're not members. Right. Tomato, tomato, baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's potato, potato. Yes. All right. So let's talk timeshare since we're there. There's a couple yeah. big ones. So on the list, we have three. There's Disney Vacation Club, Blue Green Properties, and Travel Resorts of America. So that's the one I believe that they have in is Travel Resorts, which opens up some of the other ones. But let's start with D Disney Vacation Club because we've looked at that for our personal, like non-RV side. Yeah, it costs an arm and a leg and your firstborn and your first dog. and I think it's like $36,000. It mean, was pretty damn expensive for like 100 points. Yeah, it's gone up over the years. I mean, we have we have some friends that have had it for like a long time. Like yeah. they bought it when their child was a baby. Right. And she's in her twenties now, right? Or no, she just turned 18. 18. Yeah, close yeah. enough. 18, 20, same thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so DVC, the Disney Vacation Club, has just recently allowed their points to be used at at least in Disney World at Fort Wilderness. Mm-hmm. Because before it wasn't. And so they've renovated cabins. I mean, there's just been a lot of going on. We find a lot of our Disney news from Mickey Views. Yeah, we do. No no relation with him, but the no. dude's smart. He knows the stuff. So yeah. if you're into any any of the theme park stuff, he's a good person, especially like DVC. Uh, yeah. Now, Blue Green, you want to tell him about our experience in Vegas? So years ago, when our daughter was doing competition cheer year-round, um, we went to a Blue Green rep at bass pro shops yes in california and we agreed to go to one of their timeshare seminars and stay in a villa in las vegas yes so you get that stay for free and it worked out with our the cheerleading competition for our daughter and so we invited another uh, family to come with us and stay in the other part of the villa and we went to, it was like, what, a couple hours? Oh, my God, yes. It was brutal. Yeah, so they watched Ashley while we went and checked in, and we sat there. We already knew that we weren't going to buy into it, but we wanted to hear all about it. It's just because the locations they had it in was not the locations we would vacation in. Correct. And it, so we got to stay there for a week for free, mm -hmm. and then they gave us, like, $50 gift cards or something like that. Yeah. But I'll tell you what. Talk about high-pressure sales. Yes. Shove it down your throat. You know you want it. <laughs> it was cool, but honestly, the places at that time in our life, they didn't have a place in Alaska where we would vacation because we right. were California residents back way yeah. back then. So Blue Green actually has uh, some RV resorts in the Dells. That's where we stayed. Yeah, and so our friends, uh, they have Blue Green Properties uh, membership. Yep. Timeshare, and we stayed there, like Chris said, for a week in the Dells, and they use their points and... It, it was, was a, really inexpensive for us. And we had the best time too. Oh, it was, and it was a great location. Mm -hmm. So it, it's really cool. So t I don't know anything about Travel Resorts of America, except for they're the exact same thing as every other timeshare. And they do have, they are specific to RVs. Yes. So we just want to give you a few different options. So know that if you're buying into a timeshare, know what you're getting into. You're buying a piece of real, a real estate for a period of time that you can utilize every year. And with any of this, I would recommend going on like Facebook or just Googling or Reddit or something and just typing it in and seeing what other people's experiences. Because lately what I've seen about like Harvest hosts is that people are having um, like some of the hosts have been saying, no, you need to spend you need 60, bucks, 100 60 bucks or to buy this voucher and then you get all this stuff. And it's just been 
kind of crazy. I mean, it's getting a little way. It's getting a little more corporate, and mm -hmm. it's getting away from the enjoyment. But it's always good to see like insights from what other. It's always like buying something. You want to read the reviews, right? Yeah. Now the next one we haven't actually used, and they even offered to give us a membership, and we haven't used them. Which one? Passport. Oh yeah. So Passport America. So that one right now it's forty four dollars annually, and then you get like half off sites. Yeah, fifty percent off. What we have been told, and what we have seen, and the reason we opted to not do it is because they're like, oh, we're the oldest, we're the first, we're the originals. So are the RV parks. A lot of them are very old outdated so big mm -hmm. rvs can be a problem 50 amp can be a problem yeah and that's why we didn't go into that one um we just it wasn't lining up with our travel plans um and back then we still had our fifth wheel so right. that was over you know about 38 feet plus the bikes on the back but they do have over 1100 plus participating parks in the u.s canada and mexico so, so we may revisit that later. Yeah, I mean, 50% off helps. I and mean, that makes a big, big difference. It does. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I don't know much about them. Can't say much good or bad, but like I said, we've heard a little bit. Uh, oh, and they're 44 bucks a year. Yes, 44 annually. So that's not bad. Yeah. All right. Now, this one, one of our friends, um, Charity from Grateful Glamper, told us about RV. A-R-V-I-E. Mm-hmm. So that one, I Googled, how much is the membership? Because when I went onto their website to look, I couldn't find a price. You had to sign in with a credit card, create an account for 14 days free, which that's cool and all, but I'm not ready to purchase another campground membership. So I Googled, how much is the membership price? What'd you find? It's $19.95 a month or $12.50 a month, but you pay annually all at once. So $144. Okay. So $144 a year. And Ben and Charity love it. Oh, yeah, they do. Especially because they do a lot of, like, destination stuff in mm -hmm. Florida. So there's it's hard to get reservations down. Well, it's called the Keys. Yes. Anywhere down there seems to be hard. So what does RV, A-R-V-I-E, do for them? So it's an auto booking site. Now, they it uses a web crawler. Yep. Mm -hmm. And what it does is that you put in the dates and the destinations of where you want, and it basically just sits there in the background and runs and runs and runs and runs on your behalf. And when somebody cancels, the web crawler books it right away and then notifies you, hey, we just booked you Key West. And yes, there could be some emotions around this because... <laughs> It's a pain in the butt for people to get reservations, and then you're using technology to do it for you, basically. Yeah, it's like buying your own personal bot. You are. You're buying a bot, an RV campground bot. But it could be worth it if that's something, you know, like if you have no travel plans and, or you have more flexible ability with your travel plans and like Chris and I. So yeah. that's why we haven't committed to that one. It sounds really cool. We're very intrigued, but at this point in our life right now, it's not a good fit for us. Right. If I know that I wanted to go to a particular place in the Grand Tetons, I would use that, right? Because I want to go to this spot anywhere between this date and this date, and it'll do it for me. That's and cool. If you watch us on YouTube, there's someone that we call Murphy. Oh, he's a... <laughs> Murphy's mm -hmm. Law. Mm -hmm. It would probably book that for you. Say we got this program and it books it for you, but we're going to be on a cruise at the Panama Canal or you got a work trip that we're going well, on. I mean, and you control your dates, which is helpful. Yeah. But as fluctuating as our life is, there's no way I could commit six months from now. I can't even tell you if I'm going to make the reservation that's supposed to start tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. What's funny is that we were going to go on the other side of the Florida coast instead of saying central, we were going to, yeah, go we we're going to go on the Atlantic ocean side, go far East. Yeah, we were almost there. And I said, wait a minute. We promised our daughter we'd take her to Epcot to go look at the drone light show. Yeah, they have a drone show that we're going to go to on Friday. And I'm glad you said that because we were going to pay like 60 bucks a night to go there. Yeah. And it's 300 miles away from where we were at or 200 miles away from where we're at. And we would have really lost money. So yes. we're losing part of our money at the Thousand Trails, but it's only a little compared to a lot. And there. that's a maybe if... We're able to get in next week to do that one thing that we will not talk about right now. But it's amazing. Oh, my God. <laughs> so if it is, there'll be a video and you'll know all about it. And we'll probably even do a podcast. Well, so. there will be a video on it at some point. 
it's just a matter sooner of- or later. Yeah. <laughs> so Good Sam, this is yes. one I'm actually familiar with. We purchased Good Sam for one year when we first bought our Valor. Three and it's ago. cool from the camping world side of things mm-hmm. because you get discounts on retail parts in the store. Oh, the yeah. camping world's super proud of their prices. Yes, they are. That's why we bought that membership for one year and we forgot to renew it. Which is fine. It's fine. We didn't need it then. What it does is it's 39 bucks a year. It does give you discounts on um well, oh, there's an elite. I didn't I didn't talk about that. So 39 annually, or there's elite, you know, like there's different tiers on all these pro a lot of these programs. So 109 annually, uh discount on fuel, propane, campgrounds. Right. And that's where I'm familiar. My mom had good Sam way back in the day, back when she was rocking a nineties class C Winnie. And uh, <laughs> she would always go to good Sam campgrounds because you got a discount there and it was like a cool thing to be part of the good sam club and you got a sticker yeah it's it has its perks i think if you're going to buy parts and you need um you want i want to say need if you need parts let's be real if you're an rv or you need parts it's going to happen yeah and getting a discount's a good thing um camping world's everywhere they're huge so there is a benefit to that and a little bit of a discount on propane or fuel or RV parks. That's always a win. And 40 bucks is reasonable. Yeah. And you accumulate points, which you can use later down the road. They have a basic one where you just get free points. Like when you purchase things, you get that point. Um, You get more points with the standard and definitely a lot more with the elite. Well, Um, and you said they had credit cards too, right? They're always trying to hustle you. You want some more money? We got money. But you know, that's kind of cool in a way that so good Sam has definitely elevated itself and grown as a company, if they're offering credit cards. Right. I mean, but of course, the more you pay, the more benefits you get. A hundred percent. Yeah. So national park passes, that's not a membership, but it's something we wanted to throw in there because we have the military. Yep. And we have the access, which is the disabled or uh, yeah, it's the disabled card. So I have the lifetime military and I have the disabled because of being military disabled. Yes. So you just bring it all in and then you share that there. But I'm as plus one. Yes. <laughs> 10 bucks for a lifetime military, 10 bucks for a lifetime access, which is the disabled card. And those give you free access to utilize the national parks mm-hmm. for the day, not camping, but access. Yes. And then $80 annual for non-military, for, for non-military just to have the national park pass. And let's be real. It's good to invest in the national parks because they keep them clean. They made it your land. Yes. We all our land. All our land. That's right. And it's great to get away in nature and they just help preserve it. We also have a Florida state park pass and we have a Texas pass. So I would say state passes and national passes do them. Yes. That's just a no brainer. Do those because it gets you good access. And um, some of them will save you like the Texas one and the Florida one save us a ton of money on camping oh it did it did yeah Yeah. and we like to spend time there um we have a lot of friends in texas and of course florida so yeah national park passes state passes definitely something to jump on it's worth doing um so let's talk now that we've kind of talked through like we'll say the most common memberships let's tell them what we actually have and i know we touched on it but let's summarize um one more thing that ties all of this into we use rv trip wizard So RV Life and Trip Wizard. Yes. We use that for all of our planning. We do have a coupon code, but I tell you what, we use this. um, this We pay for it. We pay for it. We've used this programming and we were so impressed. We reached out to them and we're like, we love you guys. Yeah, their stuff. So RV Trip Wizard is not a membership, but it is the best planning platform in our opinion. And what is our coupon code? Do you know? You put me on the spot. All right. She's going to look that up. So let me tell you about it. But it it will integrate almost everything. And in the near future, it will have Harvest Host and Boondockers welcome. But literally, you can find free RV sites if you just want to camp overnight. You can plan for any national park, state park, Corps of Engineers, you name it. It's there. So our coupon code is Venture25. And you receive 25% off RV Life Pro subscription. Spell that. Venture. V as in venturesome. E. And T U R E 25. There you go. Say so, 25%. And I'll post that down below in the description with the link and yeah. use our code. That one we love. We 100%. tried doing the whole paper and everything, Excel spreadsheets and all that for all our planning, but we've shared with you how our travel plans just get so chaotic. We will have 
the travel plan going from like Florida to Indiana for the national rally. And we may have like 10 stops along the way and it may change a couple times. Yeah. And the nice thing is you can build out as much as you want. It's a great, it's a great platform to manage your RV trips and it does have fuel costs and Mm -hmm. elevation and low clearances. And it's got an app that gives you RV safe travel. Like I can't stress enough. It is worth the money. Yeah. And that's how we found like we sometimes will go cracker docking. So Cracker Cracker Barrel Barrel parking lot or like Bass Pro Shops. Yep. Cabela's. Those are great places to stay. Free overnight stays and dumps. So what do we have? Let's go back. Of course, we have RV Trip Wizard. Oh, yeah. That that ties everything in together. So that one, we highly recommend it. We personally use it. We pay for it, but we can save you money on it. Yep. Now we have, so we talked about Harvest Host and Boondockers Welcome. Canceling that. We're canceling that and we've shared why. We're going to keep RV overnights. Yes, RV overnights. Uh, There's KOA. Yep. So that one, it does have a small annual fee. 40 bucks, I think is what we said. So that one's worth, in our opinion, that one is absolutely worthwhile. And you accumulate points, too, that you can use for stays. Mm -hmm. But they will also have, like, different offers if you go on there for, um, and we're not affiliated with KOA. We just, we've been using it for years, so we know it and we're comfortable, but yeah. there are times where certain weekends you can get a better discount or they have teachers and heroes discount and stuff right. like that. So take advantage of that. But for the most part, we don't actually have a lot of memberships because of all the things we've talked about, but Harvest Host, Boondark's welcome, have it, leaving it. Um, RV Overnight's keeping it, KOA keeping it. Yeah. And I think that's really it, right? Yes. And then, I mean, we had purchased the National Park Pass, so we're good there. That's a lifetime, yeah. Yeah. A Thousand Trails. We won't be getting that one. We do at, like staying at them. Yeah. And at this time in our life, like we shared that, it's not a good fit for us. But if you are able to utilize it for what it is, it's it, fantastic. It could save you a ton of money. Yes. So let us know if we missed any major memberships, if there's any other sneak peeks. Somebody can hook us up, give us some insights. Yeah. We need to know. Oh, and pro tip, Mm -hmm. when you are booking your stay at any campground, go to their website and look and see if they have any special offers. A lot of time, like right now, this time of year in Florida, which it's August, um, they have like Florida residents or they'll have different types of like summer sales because they want to book out the campground because everybody leaves everybody leaves and if you're like early coming in for the fall this may be a sweet good time for you because like right now we're we're saving 50 percent off our stay at a thousand trails right for a week not a bad deal so they have discount savings uh black friday cyber monday we've seen different discount coupons Mm -hmm. yep yeah always look out for those sales save that money there you go (laughs) well Thank you all for listening or watching if you're on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And let us know if there's any other different kind of memberships that you would suggest or have us look into that we haven't mentioned. Yeah, we would love to know if there's something we're missing. But more than anything, I hope you gained some knowledge about what types there is and some of the pitfalls that there can be. Yeah, or highlights, some mm -hmm. wins. Yeah, there's some wins. Share it all. All right. Well, thank you all. Have a wonderful night. Yeah. Thank you for listening and or watching. And if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit the like button. Leave us a comment down below because YouTube loves that. And subscribe. <laughs> and if you're on the on the podcast platforms, thank you. Leave a comment there because they love that. Got to keep the algorithm happy. But most importantly, enjoy every moment. <laughs>